Psalms 133. Again, the scripture will be coming from Psalms 133. Amen? Amen. And the scripture reads as thus. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded this blessing, life forevermore. Bless the hearers, the doers, and believers in Jesus and God's holy word. Amen? Amen. Shall we go through the throne of grace from everlasting to everlasting? Yes, sir. Thou art God. Yes, Father, we come thanking you this morning. We have so many things to thank you for, Father. I think if we had a thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough to thank you. Well. But Father, we come thanking you. We thank you for last night's lying down. And we thank you this morning for this morning's rising, Father. Oh, yes. Father, you have provided us with this new day. And Father, we come saying thank you for this day. You said in your word, Father, that we are to, this is the day that you have given us. We are to rejoice and be glad in it. And Father, we're going to be glad in it this morning. We thank you for being able to look around the parking lot this morning, Father, and see that we still, your word is still going forward. It's still going forward, and I thank you for that, Father. And Father, we just asking you this morning to bless us as we go through this service this morning. Father, we know you're in the blessing business, and we just asking you to step by this morning and lift us up, Father. Well. Give us what we need to hear. We asking you to bless our pastor this morning. As he's standing in John's shoes this morning, Father. Lift him up. Have him to say the things that's going to be pleasing in our sight, Father. Father, we asking you to bless the ones that had a desire to come here this morning and couldn't make it for some unknown reason. Just bless them, Father, wherever they may be. We're asking you to bless the Greater Peace family. Oh, Lord Jesus. Just keep us in prayer as we go through the every day's problems, Father. And we'll be forever giving you the honor, the praise, and the glory. Oh, Lord Jesus. Because you're worthy to be praised, Father. These and many other blessings we ask in the name of the Father. Amen. Amen.
This concludes our devotion. Pray for me. Don't forget me. Pray for the Garrett family. 
Now on Wednesday at uh, 2 p.m., we will meet out at the Veteran Memorial Cemetery and we'll pay, pay our final respect to the memory, legacy, to the family of Sister Bernie Gilbert. All who can come out on Wednesday, please meet us at the cemetery. It's an estimated about 1.15. One, uh, one you're sure to be in April 15 at 2 o'clock. All right? Yeah. Uh, from this point on, we will continue to do what we've been doing in the past. That is, the pastor's corner on Friday and Bible study on Friday. So really nothing has changed except the sanctuary will be open to group. This morning I want to talk to us shortly on just lifting up Jesus. Amen. That's all I want to do for the few minutes that I have here. I just want to lift up Jesus. Then we're going to uh, we're going to take the Lord's Supper. But right now, just let me share with us along this thought, lifting up Jesus. Truly, we thank God for what He has done, for what He is doing, and what He has promised to continue to do. Man. Not in his future, but in our future. Mm. God doesn't have a future. Mm. We're the one that has the future. But God has promised us that he's going to continue to take care of his own. And he's been doing that all right. On the first Sunday in September, uh, we talked about the Lord Jesus Christ and how good he is. Because he is good. Yeah. On this Sunday, except in uh, October, well, we'll be still in September. On this Sunday in September, we can say God is good. Yeah. God has been good. Mm -hmm. God will continue to be good. That's right. That's right. All we want to do this morning is just lift up Jesus. In John chapter 12, I believe, verse number 32 and 33, Jesus said in verse 32, he said, if, and I, if I be lifted up all right, all right. from the earth, will draw all men. And when Jesus said all men, he meant all men unto me. 33 says, this he said, signifying what death he should die. Mm -hmm. And he was lifted up. Yeah, During his crucifixion, he was lifted up. Mm -hmm. uh, Christ's death on the cross was the world and the prince of this world's judgment. Yeah. Let me say that one more time. Christ's death on the cross was this world and the prince of this world's judgment. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit bad witness to this truth. In John 16, uh, starting with verse number 7, let me share these verses right quick here. 16 and 7 said, Nevertheless, Jesus speaking, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. If I go away, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Uh -huh. and then he went on to say, and when he's come, he will reprove the world of sin yes. and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to the Father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the prince, coming back to the prince of this world, you know who the prince of this world is, small p. Satan is the god of this world. Mm -hmm. The god of this world is judged. See, Satan lost the battle. He don't know it, he didn't know it, but he lost the battle at the cross. What he thought would be a defeat turned out to be 
public to read. Right. Read the book of Revelation now. Looking through the word, and I came across verse number 10, chapter 12, where John made this statement. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser, you know who the accuser is, don't you? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Satan never takes a break. He never takes a vacation. He's always on his job. No matter how diabolical his job is, he's always on his job. That's right. Saints doom has already been sealed. We are waiting for Almighty God to do what he said he's going to do. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 10, John continues to say, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. You see, Satan is going to hell. I mean, he's going to be there. Somebody, somebody said, I'm going to have a companion. Well, you don't want no companion in hell. He's going to be there. I don't want to go there with him. Right. Let me finish the verse. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets are, and shall be, what? Tormented. How often? Day and night. How long? Forever and ever. See, the verses we read a while ago when Jesus put the emphasis on his death, said, if I, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Uh, those of us who are Christians, those of us who are saved, those of us who are on our way to glory, we ought to join in with Jesus in lifting him up so that he may draw all men unto him. You see, those who reject him are lost. They shall be lost. Those who ignore him shall be lost forever. Saints of the gospel need to be preaching, teaching, proclaiming the word of God. Yes, sir. I know we're in a season of COVID-19, but COVID-19 can't stop God. Well, COVID-19 is giving us an opportunity to do more now than we've ever done before. Uh -huh. The gospel, you see, is about the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Uh -huh. Paul said, for I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. Oh, what did you deliver? What did you receive? How that Christ died for our sin. It uh -huh. was according to the scripture. All right. All right. And that he was buried, that was according to the scripture. Mm -hmm. And that he rose again the third day, according right. to the scripture. Saints, my brothers and sisters, this message must be proclaimed to all. Mm -hmm. This message must go out today more so than ever before. Yes, sir. Because yes, men are still dying in their sin. Mm -hmm. I said men are still dying well in their sin. Right. And you said, well, I can't make nobody receive the Lord. I can't make nobody believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. God didn't say make them. He said proclaim it. All right. He All said right. just tell it. Come tell on, preacher. Story. Come on, preacher. Tell the story how he pick you up. Yes, uh -huh. Tell the story yes, how he raised you up yeah. from a dead uh -huh. person and made you alive. Uh -huh. Tell the story how he is so good to you today. Yeah. Yes, Tell the story how God loves you all the way. Yes, Tell the story how God loves you so much you can't do anything to make him turn you loose. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. He get a hold of you. He got you. Somebody yes. said, what happens if I and maybe to jump out of his hand. Jesus said, you can't get out of my hand. If you could, you sure can't get out of the Father's hand because God got you in control. God got you. God's holding you. God's keeping you. But we must 
Let the world know. That's right. Let That's one right. another know. Just keep reminding each other that Jesus Christ paid the price. Yes, sir. I said Jesus Christ paid the price. Didn't he do it? Yes, Amen. Brother, bro, what you hesitate for? What I'm deciding now, what I'm on, go on and just turn loose here. But yes, sir. I told you at the beginning I wasn't going to... Uh, uh, I wasn't going to invade upon your privacy. Right. I wasn't going to invade upon you for coming out this morning. Yes, sir. But I love Jesus. Come on. Come on. Because he first loved me. Yes, sir. I love the Lord because he heard my cry. Come on. I love the Lord because yeah, yeah. he pitied my every cry. Come on, preacher. I love the Lord when I was sinking deep in sin. Yes, Come on now. He picked me up. I said he picked me up. I was going one way. Uh -huh. He turned me 180 degrees the other way. Come on, come on. Now I'm going to run on. Yes, sir. I said I'm going to run on. Oh, children. I'm going to run on. Yes, sir. And see what the end is going to be. I'm going to run on until the end. Yes, I said, Lord, I don't know when you're coming from me. Oh, no. I said, Lord, I'm not asking you to take me out today. Oh, I'm not asking you to take me out tomorrow. No. But when you take me out, so be it. Yes, sir. Good God of mine. Yes, That's all right. That's all right. You happen to be in the land of the dying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You said, brother, you should say the land of the living. But everybody's in this land not living. Come on now. They might have biological life, but I'm yeah. talking about yeah. spiritual life right now. Yeah. But if you're in the land of the dying this morning, yeah. and that is if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, yeah. as your Lord, this is a good time uh -huh. to say to the Lord, Lord, I believe what you said. I believe what you have done. I believe what you're going to do. And Lord, I realize now that I'm a sinner. I'm lost. I need to be yes, saved. Sir. Yes, and Lord, I come to you now for your salvation. And nobody give it to you like Jesus. That's right. That's right. All who come to him, he will receive. I don't care what your life has been. I don't care what your life is right now. Just come to Jesus, right. and he'll fix it up. That's right. I'm pausing for just a second here. Just those who are listening now, and you are not a child of God, now would be a good time to become a child of God. And then you will, then I'll tell you this, then I'll meet you in glory. Yes, sir. Let us prepare now. For the Lord's Supper. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, let me read about uh, 1, 2, 3, about four verses. Verse 23 says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, Father, we thank you now for the you, bread, which represent, we're not saying that it is your body, but it represents your body, it points to your body. We thank you for the bread. We thank you, for Lord, that your body was broken for us. We thank you now that we are reaping the benefit from what you did on camp. Yeah. Scripture said he took bread, and break it. Mm -hmm. So wherever you are now, go ahead and take out your cup, take out your bread. He hears what he said to his disciples, and recorded by the Apostle Paul. Take out your bread now. And he told them to take it and eat it. And he said this, this is my body, mm -hmm. which is broken for you. Do it in remembrance of me. Let us take the bread now and eat it at this time. After the same manner, also, he took the cup. When he had supped, giving thanks for the cup, we say now, Lord, we thank you for the cup. 
Lord, we thank you for the uh, fruit of the vine. We thank you for what it points to. It points to your shed blood. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, that you shed your blood for us without reservation. And Jesus said to them, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as you drink it, do it how? Do it in remembrance of me. Do it in remembrance of the Lord. And we take the cup together. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the Lord's death. Till he comes. Because he is, he is coming back. I say he is coming back for his children. He's coming back to this world one day. He's going to set up his kingdom on earth. All we are pointing to now is the fact that he's coming back. We believe that he's coming back. At this particular time, let's call just for a moment. If your brothers have not received the gift that you were going to receive, this would be a good time to do that right now. If you've not received, if you have not turned in your love offering, brothers are coming around. If anyone needs to blow your horn and they'll come around or flash your light, they'll come around to you right now. We just pause a few minutes. Black boy, I can see that all is clear. If all is clear, let us bow our heads just for a moment. So, Lord, we thank you for the gifts that are being shared with your work, for your work here on earth. We thank you, Lord, that you have not allowed our light to dimmer. You've not allowed our light to go out, but you keep them shining because you are the light of the world. Yeah. And Lord, yeah. we are a reflection of your light. Let me and see the light that you shine through us. Yeah. Lord, then they will glorify you. They will give your name praise and honor. It is in Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. 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 brothers just a few more minutes as they finish up the task then we will do the doxology and benediction once more we thank God for you we thank God that you are true saints you show up my faith by showing forth your faith iron sharpens iron one person's countenance sharpens another person's brothers and sisters one more time for your foresight, your diligence, your willingness, and your courage to even do what you are doing today.
yes he did. Thank you. 